What's going on YouTube? Hope you all are doing well. Today I'm back with a finally another new video. I just did another late night Walmart run on a Wednesday and picked up a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh! No more mystery boxes I haven't found yet. Hopefully though, I will be seeing those pop back up very shortly. Um, we've got blue eyes back here. You can't really see them. There's the bottom of this card right there. 3000 attack. But I got five Darkwing Blast packs. They did have a good amount. I do like this set a lot. So I got five of these. So it'd be fun to open five of them. We'll start with those. And then I got two, the last two boxes of Magnificent Mavens. Still looking for the Blue Eyes or Dark Magician Girl. We're going to save those to the end. We're going to start with these. Five simple packs. Let's get these all out of the blisters. First, start off. I do want to say I hope you guys did enjoy your Thanksgiving break. I know this video is coming out a little bit later. I probably already said that also in my last video because I think I posted one after Thanksgiving break. But hey, I hope you all are having a good week, middle of the week Wednesday. We are halfway done. The Christmas break will be coming up soon. Just in about three weeks. And I'm hope I'm trying to get more content out for you. I just don't want to bore you guys like with like the same old pro like product that I'm excited. Rude. Uh, with probably that on like exciting, like me just opening up like I don't know, like me opening up like theme decks and just saying, oh my god, look how cool this stuff is. Like some people enjoy that. That's not my cup of tea. I should just get everything open. Just so I can have everything ready. And have not don't have to do this in the middle. Uh, you guys don't know these do come with a whole pack of sleeves. Four packs. Nice sleeves. I'll be using those today. Stack these up like little items. The one I did restock because they did have the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh theme decks. If it's not like a theme deck that's interesting in any way, shape, or form, I'm not gonna review it. One, two, three, four. Those are much nicer. We'll put these at the bottom. Second box. Ooh, we'll use these sleeves. These one are nicer. These are much nicer. So we'll use these ones instead. We'll stack those little pie tin trays right there. So these sleeves open and ready to go. So we're gonna get one hit at least. Because this is 13 packs. Let's start with the Dark Wing. We got five of these first and eight Magnificent Mavens. We will do the card trick for these just because why not? One, two, three, four. We are looking for tier elements, Rule Carlos, um, Starlight, Catch Tier Friendly Ultra, Buy Still Blue Belly. I need one more of those for my place at a three. The set has been going up with that Cash Tier Ultra, but as for like secrets, like the Bite Steel has gone down quite a bit. And also the Starling Light where uh, Blackwing Dragon has also gone down significantly. And a Mirror Logic Aggregator? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that was nine. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, but then okay, nine. Put a stack back there. Let's go to the next one. I really hope that was in frame. I wasn't even looking at the camera. I hope that was in frame. Get that going now. One, two, three, four. We got the Rooney Fangs. Underworld Ritual Prediction. Celestial Apparatus PC. Amazonas Golden Whipmaster. Uh, Zalamander. Vernusliff in full bloom. I keep Omen of the Goatee, Blackwing Zonda, and Cacheteer Shangri. Not the Cacheteer we're looking for. What is the Cacheteer? Um, but back to the Blackwing. It has gone down because someone sold one for $80 and sold multiple of them for around $90, dropping the price from $160 down to $90, almost half the price. So if you're if you find someone selling one from a 90 for near mint, buy it. I'd say buy them up now because they will go up in the later future. Being the one reprint in the set, because they always give one reprint Starlight in the set. This is the one. All these cards seem to be bent on the corners. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got eight next. We got Amazonas Chief and Wealthy Dragon Secret. Nice. Need one of those. Just have in the collection. Or do I already have this one? I think I might already have this one. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I prefer some of the secrets. Oh, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh. You didn't see that. In Yu-Gi-Oh over Pokemon. The old secrets were nice, like the old rainbows and golds. To the ones they do nowadays, they 
day pale in comparison. And so one secret, this is why I do prefer blisters though, because I feel like you can get more out of blisters sometimes than you can with normal packs. I feel like before every pack I'm going to do this. So we see a starlight, we know it's there. No starlight. Uh, Amazonius. Arito Bad Blue Sword. Amazonius Golden and Whipmaster. Scareclaw Decline. Amazonius Mochi. Cashier Ogre. Hanshi Kudo Spirit. Amazonius Secret Arts. Cashier Shangri Hero. That's another thing though, is that you could get nothing out of all blisters, or you could get a hit out of single one. One thing I want to do is I want a little bit more vintage Yu-Gi-Oh. Because I've done vintage Pokemon before on this channel. If you guys haven't seen it, it's one of my older videos, one of my first ones. It's opening $1,000 worth of Pokemon packs. Didn't go well, didn't get any pulls. I think I got one, actually. I think I got one pull. I don't, know. don't want to spoil it, though you do want to go see it. Last pack, last rare. Bystil Saruni. This is not a bad one. This is playable. These Bystil Supers are pretty good. We did want the Lubellion though, if we were getting one, because it's like $16. Wow, that was expensive. But now we have eight Magnificent Mavens packs, Blue Eyes. Look at this guy. He's back there with the Charizard. We got Double Dragons, which is better. Let me know down in the comments, which you prefer, Blue Eyes or Charizard? I'm going to only do one from the back, because I know that this could also be a Pharaoh's Rare. We have Sword Soul of Taya. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon, we have a token. Sky Shrugger Ace token. Goes and matches a good one. And I could never say that. Soul, Soul, Soul Sinister Sovereign. We're just gonna say that. We're not gonna say everything else, but goes and matches a good one. Most of the more modern day Yu-Gi-Oh sets have been taking a big hit, I feel like. Which is why you guys don't see me be opening up any more uh, Crystal Beasts. Uh, Crystal Revenge. I don't know why I say oh, because it's Dance Crystal Beast. Um, anymore the new Crystal set because there's like I don't own Yu Gi Oh cards just for value. I do like also the artworks. This is the next one, but the pull rates on the set are way too hard. Dark Soul Token to actually get a hit. Like I'm looking for access codes. It's way too hard to get it. At that point, I could just buy two of them for a price of one booster box. Much I like it's the thrill of pulling it, but I just with certain sets you just want to pull your card and be happy. Soul Soul of Moi, that's a good one. Kelebic is a good one. Legendary Ocean. Ching Ying, I don't think is it either. There's one of those ones. One of those Synchron? That a Synchron card? Yeah, Synchro. One of those Synchro cards is a valuable one. I don't remember which one it is, but it's neither one of those two. So I think this is the last pack of the first box. Yes, it is. Last pack of the first box. And we got the final four packs. Come on. Pharaoh's rare. Let me see it. Scratch Striker Mecha Modules. There we go. Evenly matched with what looks to be a ward error. Spell on the match, on the M for the match, and the part E and N L Y, but there is evenly matched. Amazing one, blast held by destiny, shadowing inspiring mirror, and soul story of spice. Nice, evenly matched is a really good one. Like a thirteen dollar one, maybe a little less actually, maybe eleven, but still. Start moving these hits over here real quick because we've got. My favorite main is I feel like is like ghost in the past, but just better. You get more hits. Now we have a new box. We can maybe get another evenly matched. There it is. This is the one. I, it might drop. I don't know. I haven't checked the pricing for these in a while. And we have Duke and Elder Entity NTs. That one used to also be worth like a dollar. Not anymore. We got another Sword Soul. Nice, nice. Also, I think I played this video to mention that some people might want to know, I guess, is that I do enjoy. Not only this, but I enjoy like Smash Bros, Apollosa, and Bow Goddess. That's a good one. I do enjoy playing games such as Smash Bros, Beautiful Princess Fish, and Widow Anchor. I do enjoy playing games such as like Smash Bros on like Switch. And, and most of it's popping on YouTube, but they have canceled the World Champions. So sad day. 
because I was actually looking forward to maybe going to one of the tournaments and just like watching people play and just enjoying it. But now it is unable to because they have canceled it. It's posted on about it. Everyone is really upset about it. I especially am. Ooh, Nightmare Phoenix was on the side. I forgot. Because I do infinite embarrassment. That's a good one. Try to say stuff and this is throwing me off. non fusion area. And we just got took it. It's really making me upset that they have to cancel it for reasons that they... They haven't explained actually why they're canceling it. I feel like they should. But maybe they have and I just haven't seen it yet. But I'm just very upset with knowing that I won't be able to see one because it would have been my first one I've been to. But the news is upsetting. But hey, at least they posted an Amar movie trailer. Skill Drain. I haven't seen him in a while. Skill Drain. And Keldo with another messed up K. Sword Soul Assessment and Sky Striker Mo Mobilize Engage. So that's going to do that for that box. Those boxes were really good. Had a good amount of hits. Good amount of value. If you always want to go for some good value, Magnificent Mavis always has it. I mean, look at this. Before Magnificent, the cards I bought from Magnificent Magnificent Mavis were these two. I opened eight packs. I got two, four, six, eight, nine, ten hits. Let's say three of them are still not hits. You still get more hits than you did, like more hits per packs. And they're really playable, and they have some pretty nice value. So let's go over here. Got Millennium Eyes. Goes and match, Sword Soul Grandmaster, evenly matched. I'll put that aside because they're one of the better ones. Sword Soul of Moji, Kelebic, Skill Drain, Keldo, Infinite Impressment, Up Plus of the Goddess. And from the Darkwing, we got a Secret Rare, World Sea Dragon, and a Biceal Saronir. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Nice little video to throw in. Hopefully, I got another one up by, end, by this weekend. I really hope I do because I need to get another one out. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.